Hi, summer kids! You caught me in the kitchen baking breakfast this morning. I am so excited to be here. I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to go take my breakfast off the stove and then we're good to go. Awesome! Welcome back, Summit Kids. I am so excited to be here with you for, again, yet another Sunday. If you were at soccer camp last week, I know that you had fun because I had fun. I love getting dressed up in costumes, learning new soccer skills. I love getting fit and being nice and stretched out all week. And even better, we got to hear some awesome God stories. So if you weren't at soccer camp, that's okay. But if you were there, I hope that you had a really great time. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a craft today. So I hopefully you have this stuff set out. And if you don't and you're just watching today, then that's okay too. I'll do all the stuff on the screen and you can just watch. But if you're participating, what you're going to do is you're going to need a cup to get started. Or it doesn't have to be plastic. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of lemon juice in there. Has anybody done the lemon challenge where you drink lemon juice? And not for me. I don't like sour things. So we're going to pour some lemon juice. Just enough that we fill the bottom of our cup. Awesome. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add... A big spoonful of salt. Big spoon, the more the better. Looks good. And then you're going to mix it on up. So we have lemon and salt in this dish. Now, what you're going to do is, hopefully, and if you don't, that's okay. Do you have know what this is? All your moms and dads can tell you, if you don't know what it is, it's a penny. So this is one cent. We used to use pennies, and they used to get dirty. Look at the difference between these pennies. Look through my eyes. Yee. Awesome. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and put this dirty penny. You should have a really dirty one, hopefully like this. I can't even read it. You're going to just drop it in. So now it is in my mixture. You can see it on the bottom. We're going to give it just a little bit of a mix it all up. Great. And now we're just going to set it aside. And while we wait, we're going to do some worship. So get up, get in some space. Let's get moving. Let's do some dancing. And we'll be back here at in a gym. Puts the moon in the sky He's the one who hung the stars He won't bow 
it. We are done of worship. Wow, I am, I am Batman. Now that we are done being superheroes for the day, we're going to come back to our science experiment. So what we're going to do is you're going to grab a spoon and see if you can fish out that coin that you, wow. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I am already surprised. Let me just get it out. You're, you're going to need a paper towel. You're going to dump it onto that paper towel and dry it off. Are you guys ready to see? Give me a drum roll on your knees. Drum roll, please. Keep it going. Keep that drum roll going. Added a little bit too much salt. Wow! Look at the penny. It is shiny and clean. Yay! Where did the dirt go? Sorry, I am actually amazed at this. This is so cool. Here, I'll put the other one up for comparison so you know that I didn't switch them. So it might not be as shiny, but at least now it's not brown wow that is so cool i think i'm actually gonna go and clean all of my money awesome thank you for tuning in to today's science experiment it's now time for our remember verse do you guys remember our remember verse from last week i know i do it's your father knows what you need before you ask him do you remember the actions it's your father knows what you need before you ask him. Matthew 6, verse 8. I have a really cool story to share with you today. But before we begin, let's just open up with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for everybody who's able to gather here online today and all of those kids who aren't gathered online, God, we pray for them too. I just pray that as we learn about the message, God, that we would remember the things that we've learned in the past weeks, that you are always near, that you are always listening, God. Those things are so, so valuable, and it all ties in to the great big God story. And God, we know that you are so awesome, that you can do so many cool things. And God, we just pray that you would show us that, God, that you would be in our life and that you would just work through us, God. I just pray that you would quiet our minds, God, and open our hearts so that we're able to listen to the message and get lots out of it today. In your name we pray, amen. Awesome. So, when Jesus was on the earth, he taught the disciples so many things about God. He taught them how to talk to God, and we talked about that last week, which was we t he taught the disciples how to pray because that's how we talk to God, right? And that's also how God talks to us. And this is something so important that we continue to use even today. And that stemmed from way back in the Bible when people would talk to God, they prayed to him. He also taught his followers about caring for all of the things that he created. Can we name a few things that God created? I know in my head I'm thinking about animals, I'm thinking about the grass, the trees, these lovely um, trees that are behind me, but God created everything, even money. So God taught the disciples really valuable things about money offerings and the things that they own. In the big God story, people often came to the temple. Let me show you a picture of an old time temple. Of course, this might not be accurate because there's no photos from back then, but this is maybe what it would look like. The temple was kind of like a church. It was a place where people went to worship God. One day, Jesus was near the temple and he saw some very rich men putting their offerings in the temple treasury, which is like an offering box. Then he saw a very poor woman walk up to give her offering. This woman was a widow. A widow is a woman who lost her husband because he died and she probably didn't have anyone to take care of her so she was probably all alone. Jesus knew the money in her hand was all that she had that day. He watched as she took out all of her money out of her pocket, two small coins, and she dropped them into the offering box. 
When Jesus saw the woman place her coins into the treasury, he said, This poor widow put in more than all of the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth. They had money to give. But she, out of her poverty, put in all that she had to live on. The woman gave all that she had. Can you imagine giving everything that you had and you wouldn't know what you're going to eat, how you're going to live because you gave all your money away. She was generous. Generous means that you give something and you're giving more than what's expected. Have you guys heard the word generous before? I know I have. There's a lot of ways that you can be generous. God is generous. So that is a fact. God is generous. Why is God generous? When did he do something that is more than he was expected to do? I can think of a ton of things, but one thing comes to mind. And I'm going to get to that in just a second. He is always giving people more than expected. Always, 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 God gives us more than what we expect. And this woman was generous when she gave back to God. Friends, God wants us to give generously too. He has blessed us with many things like money, talents, and abilities so that we can bless others. In the big God story today, the woman gave more money than she was expected. She gave generously. Many of you bring an offering to church each week. So giving money is one way that you can be generous, but there's lots of other ways. You can be generous by sharing. You can be generous by giving time to help others, especially those who are alone or need something. When we give generously, we're helping others around us and showing them God's love. God has placed us in our families, in our church, and in our community. He was so generous to give us that one thing that I told you about earlier. It's Jesus. He gave us Jesus, and not only did he give us Jesus, but he gave his son to die on the cross. That is so generous. Like, that's unreal generous. That's like next level, isn't it? Don't you think? So we receive God's love, hope, and forgiveness every day. He is always giving us more and more and more. He is generous to us so that we can be generous to others. We can share God's blessing by telling people what we know about God and the amazing gifts that he has given. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today, Summit Kids. We are so excited to have you guys tuning in every week and watching the lessons that I've prepared and the crafts, and I hope that you're doing them too. But for now, it's time to wrap it up for today. So I want you to go and remember the lesson that God is generous and because that God is a generous God, we can be generous too. And that doesn't always mean money, but it can be in time, in sharing, and it can be money. So remember, you can be generous because God is generous to you. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good week.